But also now with the kids, I think that's another reason why we're so tired. I'm constantly recovering from my kids because, like I said, we spend time with our kids, all right? Our parents didn't spend time with us. Like, I can't believe we're already towards the holidays, already in the holidays. I'm still recovering from last year, all right? I swear, I took them to Japan for, for Christmas. I was, for Christmas, first of all, at our house, is crazy. My wife, are there any Indians? Where's the Indians at? Indians? Indians? Wow, there's a billion in the world. One showed up. Thank you very much. I married an Indian woman. I thought she'd tell her cousins. Apparently, she hasn't. Um, what's your name, Indian dude? What's your name? Jeffrey. Very Indian of you. Were you born in England or some shit? How, where? Sweden! You're a Swedish Indian. Holy moly, you're a Swindian. <laughs> this guy's a Swindian. I didn't know they existed. That's amazing, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, my wife is from the South. She's from Kerala, okay? So they're Christian, all right? Right? Now, I was born in Iran, so I'm Muslim, right? And my wife, she wanted to get the Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving. She was excited. Now, I'm born in Iran, Muslim. I shouldn't even be getting a Christmas tree. Right? But I grew up in America, so I get Christmas trees. That's fine. And uh, by the way, Jeffrey, I realize I'm not even that religious, okay? Because I realized the person that taught me my religion was my grandmother. Turns out she wasn't religious. She was superstitious. <laughs> I swear, Jeffrey, these are, the, these are the lessons in Islam my grandmother used to give me. She used to say, Maz, when you are older and you go to gamble in a casino. <laughs> As she's saying this, I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure gambling in Islam is a sin. But let me see where she goes with this. She goes, Moz, before you play the blackjack, look in the sky and say, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> and you will always win. I go, Grandma, I'm pretty sure gambling in Islam is a sin. She goes, only if you lose. She was very wise, like Yoda, Jeffrey. So Jeffrey, I'm not that religious, but I will use my religion to my advantage when I need to, okay? So my wife wanted the Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving. Now, first of all, Thanksgiving at our house is amazing, all right? We have Persian food, Indian food. Nobody touches the turkey. <laughs> you walk by the turkey, the turkey goes, gobble, gobble. I go, fuck you, turkey. I have 4,000 years of cuisine combined, okay? I have Persian food, Indian food. I have kebab and curry. I don't need your dry meat. <laughs> right? You, you ever have the dry meat of the, the, with the turkey? You've got to put gravy on there to make it s just a little juicier, right? You're like, oh, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty... You have any gravy or something, maybe? Some cranberry sauce? Some water? Gatorade, I'm thirsty! Turkey is so bad, it's the only food they stuff other food inside in case you don't want the turkey. So I live in L.A. I had the Persian food. I had the Indian food. In honor of my Mexican brothers and sisters in Los Angeles, I had some tequila. Oh, yeah. Are there Mexicans here? I heard somebody cheering for the Mexican. There you are. Oh, you're sitting right next to the Cuban. That's the Latino section. You didn't build a wall. You just built a wall of men around them. Well done, Dubai. Well done. Listen, what's your name, Mexican lady? Astrid? Is that a very Latina name? No, you're all very under, that's a very white name. Is it Astrida? Astredo? Astrid, I don't know how you feel about tequila, but I am into it, and I was, the, at, at Thanksgiving, I had Persian food, Indian food, had the tequila, I was feeling good the next day. It was a Friday, I was just relaxing. My wife from India, from the South, she wanted the Christmas tree. She walks in, she goes, hey, you know what we should do? There's a place outside of LA, it's called Yukaipa. It's a two hour drive. We drive out there, we pick our Christmas tree, they'll cut it for us. I go, babe, that sounds like a great idea, but I'm a little hungover, and I got a lot of rice in my belly. Can we do this another day? She goes, no, let's go, I'm ready, the kids are ready, let's just go. I go, babe, let's just go Saturday, maybe Sunday? She goes, no, I'm ready, the kids are ready, the car's ready, let's go. I go, babe, I want to go. But my God, Allah, <laughs> does not want me to go. So we went, we went. Um, <laughs> she, she's not gonna fall for my bullshit, Abdullah. You know what I'm saying? Abdullah, Christmas at our house every year is the exact same thing. We start decorating the Christmas tree. 
until one of those glass ornaments breaks. My wife freaks out, oh my God, broken glass. Let's go, kids. They take off. This is how bad of a Muslim I am. Every year, it's me alone with a glass of wine in one hand. If I'm really religious, I shouldn't be drinking. Christmas lights in the other hand. Just decorating the tree on my own. The only way I could be a worse Muslim if I was putting bacon on the tree <laughs> and eating it as I went. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Watch the full special on Peacock. <laughs>